What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Dead Funny Podcast. I'm your host, Chris. Show me today is my co-host, Kelsey. Hello. Oh, shit. It's been, it's been a day. It's been a fucking week. It's been a long week. Holy fuck. I just don't feel like there's enough time in the day to do fucking anything. Yeah, I've oh, taken up my commute gosh. time, and I still don't feel like I have enough time to get everything done that I want to get done. So yeah. I think the problem might be my lifestyle. That that's that's coming into hardcore reality. That's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, because I picked up streaming hardcore, and holy fuck me! Although I'm super pumped, super excited because I got to my subscri- subscriber goal on Twitch, which means that I got to unlock my first channel emote. So this is an emote that's on my channel that. Once people subscribe to me, they can use, and then they can take it with them and use it at any other channel they want to. Aha. Uh-huh. And I have officially made payment with a Twitch artist, and she is making me, and no, it's not the same person that made the Dead Funny logo, she is okay. making me my first ever Twitch emote, and I am super fucking pumped about it. But um, those of you might not know the picture, but I know I've definitely shown it to Kelsey. Where there's a picture of Cloud holding that little baby chocobo. Yes. Well, the chocobo itself was done very poorly. It looks like a little golden duck. It doesn't even look like a chocobo. So I showed her the actual like chocobo mascot chocobo. So she's going to draw the same picture of Cloud, except update it a little bit to make it look a little bit of a newer, better looking Cloud, and make him mm-hmm. like open mouth smiling. And then he's going to be holding the actual baby chocobo, which is also going to be open mouth smiling. So I'm pretty fucking pumped about it. It's going to be all kinds of cuteness. And she's done very good work on Mike's emotes. He's got two emotes that I've seen so far. Well, technically three, but the third one's not released yet, so I'm not going to talk about it. But the two that are released um, that she's done for him, one, it's just like Goku. and he's Because Mike's whole theme is Dragon Ball Z. And my whole theme is Final Fantasy. And... Um, <clears throat> So it's like Goku, he's super saiyan, he's like super happy, but it's like a little chibi Goku. And uh, so people use that all the time for like whenever they're like, oh, hype, 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 hype. Like they'll do that one because it looks like he's like really hype. And then the other one, he's got a uh, very loyal subscriber who helps him all out a lot on his channel. And uh, he said his favorite thing is tacos. So Mike's second emo is Goku doing the spirit bomb where he takes all the energy around him, makes it to a gigantic ball above him and uses it as a weapon. Instead of the spirit ball, it's a taco. So he's like summoning a fucking taco, this gigantic taco above his head, like little chibi Goku summoning this gigantic taco. It looks weird, but hey, it works for his channel. They fucking love it. So good on him. <clears throat> I won't I'm be sure doing if I was like more that. into Twitch, that would make way more sense to me. Well, it's like with the Discord and Slack emotes and shit like that. Like you can use them for more than just Twitch if you want to as well. But like that's for some reason a big Twitch thing. People like to just fucking use emotes and then also go from one channel to another channel and use those fucking emotes from another channel and stuff. I don't know. It's like showing your pride that you're happy to be subscribed to this fucking Twitch streamer. So, hmm. yeah. Okay. And I hit my first goal. First goal is 15. 15 subscribers to unlock your first emote and then i think it's like 25 then it's like 40 and then 50 and i think it just keeps going on and on i don't know if there's a limit to how many emotes you can unlock but the more subscribers you get the more emotes you unlock so i'm new so I'm now just to be clear already. can you pay to unlock emotes or no. not I mean, technically, yes. And by what I mean by that is, is that you would have to gift that many subscriptions to people in your chat who are following you to get up to that, which would be expensive. It's five dollars or six bucks with tax to gift a sub. And you had to get gift up to 15 to get the emote. Okay, so if you're buying these emotes, if you're buying your way to apparent popularity, you're spending a lot of money doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it kind of defeats the purpose. Although, to be fair, you do make money back on gifted emotes as well. So there is a little bit of a con- convergent or whatever range there that I'm looking for. I don't know. But there's a little bit of a range there of where you have some leeway because you're going to make money back on that. It's just mm-hmm. not going to be the full amount, obviously, because Twitch takes this cut, and then you get the cut of the sub back 
at the end of the month, which is like a two month payout. So then it's like you don't even get it the next month. It's the month after that that you get it. So, hmm, interesting. Which a lot of people think that you make money pretty quickly off the bat. Let me be somebody to tell you that as a new Twitch streamer, that is not the case. Um, having 15 subs is mind blowing to me at this point because I have not even been on there for a year. So I'm very thankful and grateful for what I've got. Um, but I will say, uh, I mean, my overall like Twitch check, even with donations and stuff together is like 50 bucks and that's for like a month's worth of content. So you don't make money quick on Twitch. That is very false. So people who are like, Oh, you got like 20 subs. You make a lot of money. No, you don't No, <laughs> It takes a <laughs> while before you start making money. So yeah, but, um, it's fun. It's awesome. Um, you know, something that me and Mike, we had a conversation about, where we were talking about streaming and uh, we both came to, uh, we both actually saw the same post and we talked about it at the exact same time, which I thought was pretty cool was um, it was a streamer that said, you know, cause they had this, this, so I know you don't pay attention to Twitch Kelsey, but there's this, this chick that streams and she kind of just sits there and just talks and that's fine. They have sections for that where it's called just chatting. So she was talking and, and honestly, I, I can't fucking stand her. She's a fucking terrible human being. But she said that if she's turning on her camera to make content, that she's not asking for the world, but to ask you to spend $5 to sub to her is not that much. And that you should feel obligated to sub to her if you're in her Whoa. chat watching. Yeah, she went all, and she 100% to this day still thinks she's 100% correct on this, by the way. And the sad part is, it's like, you have idiots, and I don't know if this will ever fucking happen, but if the person that did this is watching, you're a fucking idiot, and you're the reason why we have pieces of shit on the internet to begin with, decided to go and gift her 50 subs in her fucking chat while she was saying this shit. So, of course, she thinks she's justified. Because she got this huge influx of fucking subs because people are fucking retarded. So, yeah, I was, no, it's, it's, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, she went on and on with this rant and it was just like, she's all like, I mean, it's $5. You can't sit here and say, oh, I'm having hard times, but not be able to spread $5. It's $5. That is a deep misunderstanding of huge. other people's financial situation. That is not okay. Oh, there were people in her chat that are all like, you don't get to tell me what I do or don't do with any amount of my money, much less fucking $5. She's like, yeah. $5 won't even buy you anything besides possibly a sub anyway. And it's that like, is incorrect. I, I just wanted somebody, because like what, obviously my mind goes straight to puns. I, I just wanted somebody to be like, uh, you're right, a $5 sub from Subway would be pretty fucking great versus yep. fucking paying attention to your sh fucking shit. But no one made that joke, unfortunately. But anyways, so yeah, she's fucking trash. And I saw it on... Uh, Twitter, because that's one thing that is kind of nice about the Twitch community, is that whenever someone does go to a level to kind of like do something in, in, in a lot of streamers' minds, is kind of disrespectful and just makes us look bad in general. Like they all kind of banded together and was all like, we do not advocate Agree this with her. At yeah. all. Yeah. Like at all. And one of the posts that was made, which I strongly agree with, and Mike said the same thing, was like, I would much rather somebody jump in my channel and just talk to me and chat for five minutes versus subbing to me just to have chat going just so that way i can have someone to bounce off of to entertain the rest of my chat and get them active as well it's so much better than me looking and seeing i have like eight people in my fucking chat and no one's talking to me going hey guys what's going on how's everybody doing tonight and then nobody's saying anything and then me still having to talk and painfully wake it make it way all the way through with just me basically talking to myself I would much rather have that than a fucking sub any fucking day. Literally any fucking day. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was insane. I could not fucking believe it. I'm... Wow, that is... I mean, there's this... There's there's theories about how when you reward mediocrity, you create this this cycle of, I've put in effort and therefore I deserve an, a reward for it. Oh, for sure. And that it sounds like... Yeah, and I think there's a really strong statement to be made of just because you have put in effort does not mean you actually deserve anything. And that is a challenging reality. It's an unfortunate reality because it does mean there will be wasted effort in your life. But that is also reality. That's yeah. That will be true consistently 
for the rest of your life. So at some point you should become comfortable with that as truth. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like she isn't comfortable with that as truth. And I'm making a a big generalization here because I don't know her. But you do not get to ever tell anybody what they get to do with their money, even in a marriage. Like that is a conversation. That is not a dictation. And I am genuinely disappointed that anybody feels they can tell people it's five bucks it doesn't matter you can't do anything else with it anyway like yeah, you, it that is nuts. that is deeply missed oh that's wrong that's wrong it's hardcore wrong that's where i'm just gonna leave it yeah it was <gasps> fucking nutty i was fucking surprised i was so surprised oh i am disgusted but since we're talking about five bucks last night i was streaming and I'm not going to name any names here, but somebody donated five dollars so that way they got to see Tifa. I was pretty excited about that. That's my first time getting to see my Tifa announcement. And we were sitting talking, everybody was talking about what your alerts were, and I was like, "Well, I got, I got, I got Bay. Like, I mean, come on, I got Bay." Because somebody cheered in my channel, and all of a sudden I just heard Aeris theme going off, and I was like, "Who the fuck is playing Aeris theme?" And all of a sudden I saw her face pop up on my screen. I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right, Aerith is who pops up when someone cheers for me. I forgot about that." And then I was like. But Tifa though, she that donation like that. That's where the that's where the good honey's at with the money. And then they donated five bucks to see Tifa, and I was like, yes, because her theme started playing and everything. I was like, let's get it. I was pretty pumped. So I got to see Tifa last night. I was like, yes. And also on our oh. Stardew Farm, whenever you get to pick like what your favorite thing in the world is, which by the way. That comes up. I don't know if you've made it that far in anything yet to fucking get like a specific thing in the game, but your character re recounts what you fucking put down. Yes, you told me about ago. that, so I've always yeah. been very careful when I do yes. that. Because my first one was pounding that puss, and yes, whenever I ate a star fruit at the end of the mines, my character's like, it was the the star fruit's taste brings you great memories about when you used to pound that puss. <laughs> it's like. All right. <laughs> you got me, dude. I did not see that coming. Nope. Did not see that coming. You fucking got me, man. Also, me. let's be real. Eating a fruit to get that flavor is not. Uh, nope. No. Hard no. no. Hard pass. Never eating no. that fruit. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this time, because we had to make that new farm, like I told you, I just named it. I, I just put Tifa. It's like, what is your favorite? Just, Tifa. It's just there's Tifa. It's just, just Tifa. She is the thing that I would love to find at the bottom of a mine. Yes, exactly. I tried to put Tifa Lockhart, but it didn't have enough space for her full last name. So, uh, If anybody anyway. doesn't know, they clearly have not been paying attention. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's <sighs> ever named... I'm sure somebody's named a baby girl Tifa at some point. If I have a son, it's going to be Cloud. If I have three boys, Cloud, Zach, and Vincent. Mm-hmm. That's happening. If I have three boys, Cloud, Zach, and Vincent, absolutely. Oh, girls, I'm not. I'm not so worried about. Like the one girl name that I like the most is like Hannah. It's just out of nowhere, and that's just so I call her Hannah Banana, like for their, her entire life. It's, it's just for the cuteness factor of yeah, Hannah Banana. I will, I will never call her Hannah. Like even on her wedding day, it's a Hannah Banana. Like well, I'll even be that dad that like I go with her to like go get her first bank account. They're like, all right, what's your name? She's like Hannah Giles, and I'll be like, no, it's Hannah Banana Giles. Get it right, like. <laughs> Just Is don't make that her name? actual official name. Please. Official middle name. Oh, God. Well, I told you yeah. about the fucking trick I almost did on my son where he, they would have fucking murdered me if I would have named my son this. Not that I have a son, but if I had a son. When I was growing up, I used to uh, watch a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously. And I found out that Tells' his middle name is Miles. And I didn't know that at the time. And I was like, Miles actually would make a really fucking good middle name. Like, that's a pretty fucking solid middle name. I don't, I don't have any issues with that whatsoever, whether you do M-I-L-E-S or G-Y-L-E-S. Or M-Y-L-E-S. Jesus. Yeah, I put it in there. <laughs> Anyways, you already know where I'm going with this. Anyways, so I was sitting there watching TV with my grandpa. My grandpa used to make me watch a lot of older shows. And I got real heavy into Frasier. And Frasier's brother is Niles. And I was like, that's not a bad name. And then it just clicked on me. Niles, Miles, Giles. I was like, my kid would fucking murder me. Like, there's yes. no if, ands, or buts about it. It's like, wow, dad, thanks. You changed the first fucking letter <laughs> of all three of the fucking names. Congratulations. Father of the Year award. Do not do that thing. Niles, Miles, that Giles. Thing. I was like, yeah, that would work. Mm -mm. Oh, man. But yeah, I've always liked Hannah, and I don't know why. So, it's a cute mm -hmm. one. I have yeah. a cousin named Hannah. She's adorable. She's a go. lot younger than me. She's adorable. There you go. 
Yeah, don't know why that name's just kind of always stuck with me. Like whenever it comes to like video, I don't know. Like, okay, so this might sound weird, but so like whenever I look at naming a kid something, right? I am one of those people where it's like I want my kid to have a cool name, but at the same time, like I want it to like actually be like an actual name, a reasonable name. Right. You're not gonna, yeah. I honestly don't think Cloud is a bad name. I really don't. Like I, and that could be 100 percent bias, and that's completely fine. But I honestly don't think Cloud is a bad name. But if I, because I look at it as what it is, an inanimate object, right? Fucking, it's Cloud. But at the same time, I, I'm not naming my kid Spoon. You know what I mean? Like, there's a clear difference. One specifically sounds better than the other. I'm not naming yeah. my kid Trash. You know, like th- there you go, easy. But you have some people who do like they fucking. I don't know if you ever played Skyrim or not. Whenever fucking that came out, but that was fucking huge for fucking ever. And um, the the not the race you are, but the kind of like I guess your ancestors. I don't know. I don't know how they fucking explain in there. But anyways, you were called Dovakin. And basically, it means that you can speak dragon. Mm-hmm. I mean, and that's people awesome. were literally naming their kids Dovakin. Like that sounds stupid. Just stupid. Hi. Okay. Thing number one. I think it's Dovakin, not Dovakin. Whatever. I don't care. Dova and Dovakin sounds kind of. Well, I'm sorry. I think it sounds cool. Dova dumb. Done. You know what I mean? We're allowed to disagree yeah. on this, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are. That's fine. That's fine. But. <clears throat> What my point was is that I've never really met like a female character in a game where I was like, oh, that'd be a good name for a daughter. Like, I love Tifa to death, but I would never name. And that could be, that could be because of my strong, I ju- this just dawned on me. That's why my voice got so high. That could <laughs> be because of my strong attack a- attraction for Tifa. It would be extremely weird with me calling my daughter Tifa. Please, that for the love of it. all things, do not name a child Tifa. Yeah, I wouldn't. You- I physically no. wouldn't. Like, even you Aerith not do that. doesn't sound like a good name. Or Yuna. Or fucking Asuna. Like, all the fucking top female characters that are like, doesn't sound good. It just doesn't. Well, there are there are female characters that are named, like, uh, Rain is a not uncommon female name. And that one's, that one's pretty. Like, Rain is acceptable. Willow is another good one. I'm How the fuck creative. is something like Rain and Willow acceptable, but people turn their noses up whenever I say fucking cloud? Where do you think Rain comes from, Kelsey? Fucking clouds. All right? Because, no. honestly, there's Quit a romanticism shit. with the other two that is not pl- present with cloud. There just is. I'm sorry. Quit your shit. And you're naming it after this incredible force of nature, not a video game. Big difference. You're not looking at clouds going, wow, clouds are amazing. Clouds are so incredible, and they just do so many things naturally. I totally want to name a kid Cloud. You're like, nah, cool video game character. And that One is a very One day we'll thing. look up in the sky, and we'll see a cloud go by that looks just like the Buster Blade, or like actual cloud. <laughs> and then I'll be like, yeah, clouds are pretty cool. If we look up in the sky, and there's a cloud going by that looks like actual cloud, I'm going to be like, this man gave me mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> It's just not tripping balls right now, dude. <laughs> I am clearly tripping because that is not normal. Can we actually talk about that for a second? I'm going way off topic here and somewhat not way off topic. Stardew Valley, right? Okay. <laughs> so, community center, right? You know how you go in there and you got to fucking do the bundles and shit like that? How? Now, to be clear, I have not done all the bundles, so I don't know what No, happened. no, 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 no. I'm not okay. talking about that. I'm talking about literally to read the transcript, you got to go to that wizard. Yep. How creepy is that? That he's just Fair. got him chained up, then he slips you something that makes you wig the fuck out and pass out, and then you wake up outside in the rain. Like, Able dude, to suddenly read an alien language. Yeah. yeah, it's funky. Dude, if you're gonna fucking diddle me in my sleep, at least have the courtesy to like fucking let me wake up in the house. You ain't have to throw me outside in the fucking rain. I was like, what kind of bullshit is this? What kind Maybe of bullshit you were is this? I, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and then he just like has that little apple dude like all chained the fuck up. And he's like, yeah, they refuse to speak to me. Well, maybe there's a fucking reason why. Because you got this dude as a fucking prisoner. So, of course, I won't want to fucking talk to you either. I'm just worried about getting the fuck out now. I was like, wait, there's some shit. Yeah, some of these video games, when you break down some of the components, you're like, this is creepy and not a thing that we do. <laughs> it's just a way this video game works for a second. And Mike is the fucking worst. Oh my god. He fucking dumpster dies. 
constantly and gets caught constantly. I'm like, dude, at this point, you're just like living in the shed that's on my fucking farm. Some homeless dude just run around fucking digging through dumpsters all day. And then has the nerve to get mad at me because I was trying to fucking flirt with Haley. And then she starts walking away. The way he described it, though, was so funny. He goes, all I know is I'm digging through Haley's trash. Then I see Haley come bolting down towards her door. And then Chris running behind her with a fucking flower in his hands. <laughs> I was like, I mean, that was pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm a stalker in that game. 100%. Haley's Talk house Haley? does not open until 9 o'clock. I am there at 8.30 on the dot. 9 o'clock, I am in her living room. I do not have her favor yet, so I cannot be in her bedroom. She comes out of her bedroom at 11.30. I am sitting on her fucking couch with a fucking gift over my head from 9 o'clock until 11.30. Then I get her the gift, and then I go to the mines and do the rest of my shit. That sounds like a colossal waste of time. <laughs> But it works. But oh. it works. Oh, Ew. man. You creeper. You creeping creeper. But, yeah, I didn't know, like, how quick I could get stuff that she actually liked to gain favor with her. So on our first one, I didn't actually get to ask her to the dance. This next one, I think I have enough favor with her. I can actually ask her to the, the, the flower dance, the first one that you do the first time around. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was funny. Me and Mike went to go dance together, and dance. And Mike's like, "Okay, well then, who's gonna?" He's like, "He's like, do we have to uniform up?" And I was like, "Well, they're gonna uniform up." He's like, "Okay, well then, who's wearing the dress?" And I was like, "Oh, you're definitely wearing the dress." And then, like, obviously, it didn't put one of our characters in the dresses, but it definitely put him on the side with the girls, and I was on the side with the guys. <laughs> I was like, "Boom, bitch!" But he looks homeless, so I'm like, "Man, dude, I'm like dancing with like the ugly girl. Like, this is, this is terrible." <laughs> He's oh my got, god, that's so terrible. He's got this long, scraggly beard, this crazy messed up hair. He wears the fucking straw hat that you get for a gift for winning the egg hunt, which he didn't even win because he's fucking colorblind. So he couldn't even find the eggs in the first fucking place. I won it and gave it to him because I didn't want this stupid fucking hat. And then he just runs around digging through fucking trash cans all goddamn day. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh no, I'm so dumb he's with so my, creepy. Uh I mean, he takes care of the farm, so I can go out and fucking do the mines, so there's that. But uh, if he's not fishing, he's dumpster diving, so. Good lord. <laughs> and the best part was, is like, he was the person that was part of the cutscene when you catch Linus going through the trash cans and the old man has yeah. you at him. He was the person. And on stream, he's like, oh, man, dude, I kind of feel bad for him. I was like, no, you tell him it's disgusting and he needs to get a fucking job because that was one of the fucking options. So he says it and Linus, like, freaks the fuck out on him. He's like, you don't know my way of life, da 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 da, -da. And then Linus ran off and then Mike's like, well... It's time to double check and make sure he didn't miss anything. And then he instantly starts double checking the trash cans. That he, and the best part was, is like he starts doing it, and then you just hear me go, Mike, it's fucking one o'clock in the morning. Come to bed so we can wake up and it be a new day. Shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck, dude, I've been sitting in bed this entire time. This fucking cutscene's been going on. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. I want to fucking move on with my day. Oh, yeah. Every day, oh. um, almost every day, I'm in a game with my husband and then a couple of our friends. And every time we play, I'm always like, "Oh shit!" Somebody has to remind Scott to like come and go to sleep. Otherwise, he's just so focused on like, "Oh, there's cool shit in the mines." He never comes back. I'm like, "No, oh you cannot. You cannot fall asleep down there. Like it costs us money when you do that." Like, get back I here. I had the worst one happen to me. I had like four times in a row where I fell asleep in the mines and I lost like an item. Are like three items and then maybe like 400 gold. Literally last night, I fucking got ran over by a shit ton of fucking bugs. Like it fucking did the whole thing where like the gases fill up and like they all fucking swarm on you. It was like eight of these little fuckers all hit me before I got a chance to get back to the ladder. Kill me instantly. And I lost 5,000 gold. Oh my god. And eight items. No. I lost. That's terrible. I'd be so pissed. So much. I was fucking livid. Livid. The biggest part that I was mad about was I lost my fucking cookies my mom gave me. I was so mad about that. No. I was going to give them as a present to Haley on her birthday. And I was like, you sons of bitches. Now I have to get something else for Haley's birthday. <laughs> like, you are getting in the way of my romance, this. you little shits. <laughs> uh, the game's so good. It's just so fucking good. Oh, my God. 
I love it. I'm so glad that I'm getting back into it and playing the shit out of it right now because I've had so much fucking fun. And it just, it makes great content. It really does. Like, if you have a group of friends and you are all cracking jokes and shit like that, like, mm-hmm. Mike waters the fucking farm every day. There was one day where he was like, I got to go catch this fish at, the, fish at this specific time. So he runs thinking that obviously Chris and James are going to take care of the farm. I come out and I'm like, look who doesn't do their fucking job ever. I mean, I got to go to the mines. I got to fucking water the goddamn farm. My energy's going to be shot to shit. Like, it's just fucking funny. Like, we, you know, it's, I love it. It's so fucking good. I like how there's literally no domestic bliss. Like, everybody's just yelling at each other. Oh, it's a beautiful 100%. game. 100%. 100 percent like if i die it's automatically james's fault <laughs> like automatically like whenever i died by all those bugs i was like james i thought you were in the mines with me he goes i was and i was like well obviously fucking not bitch because i fucking died i was so upset i lost so many fucking things uh and then you can I, only yeah. pay the guy to go get one thing and it's like okay do i be smart and have him go get my sword so i can continue to go through the fucking mines or do i have him go get my cookies so I can get so I can Haley. impress my girlfriend. Oh my god! I did the smart thing. He went and got my sword for me. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Because I found out she likes topazes, so I was like, "Oh well, fuck! I can get the shit ton of those." So yeah, that's not. I've hard. got like, well, basically her favorite thing is sunflowers. So until I can plant those, I got to find something in the meantime that I can use. And fucking topazes are are the way to go. So because I gave her a daffodil. And she was like, ugh, that's disgusting. This is a terrible gift. And I was like, oh, that was fucking rude. Yeah. And there, those people are mean as fuck. I first time at that flower dance. Th- yeah. Huh? I'm not even just talking about that, but when I went to the flower dance, there were like four people I asked if they would dance with me. And obviously I didn't have any favor with any of them. No would have been fine. Or I don't feel like dancing. There was multiple where they were like, ooh, no. I was, bitch, what do you mean, ooh? Who the fuck you think you're talking to? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. I like how your personal pride actually got involved. It did! 100%. I was really pissed off when the guy in the fucking wheelchair turned me down. I was like, look, dude, you can't even dance anyway. I was trying to be nice. And he's all like, no, I will not dance with you. I was like, well, fuck you too, Harold. <laughs> how about that? I'll dance with Mike. I didn't want to dance with Mike. Mike, <laughs> we call Mike our trash panda. That's his, that's his new nickname. We're like, oh, it's the fucking well, trash. Well, that kind of sounds like his job. Oh my gosh, he fucking oh. cracks you up with that shit. <laughs> Just like whenever the fucking uh, old guy in the wheelchair was like, "I think it's those raccoons again." I was like, "Mike, it's your fucking neighbors, dude. Your cousins, <laughs> they're, they're out and about." Oh my gosh. Causing problems. Yeah, no, I was giving people gifts because I was just, I was trying to make friends and then like fish are really useful in the game. And so I'm like, hey, I'll give you a fish. Like the use of this is just fantastic. And people were disgusted by me. And I'm like, it's a fish, not like a finger. What's wrong with you? Right. Like you can sell this and make yourself quite a bit of money, asshole. So yeah, I had to, I had to calm down a little bit. Yeah, I tried to, to, to even take it a step further. When we started our new world, I was trying to just do nothing but like a fucking southern accent. And uh, Mike and James wouldn't jump on board with me, so it didn't last for long because they just kept going, Dude, what's with the fucking accent? Because <laughs> I was just all like, what? You need me to go to Pierre's? You need me to get you some of them fucking green beans? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Shit like that. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely sound like a southern mother, like <laughs> cracking me up. Oh my gosh, it was great. But yeah, they didn't jump on board with it. I was like, motherfucker. So Ooh. I dropped it. But yeah, I mean, it, like I said, we, we made such fucking good content. It was so funny. And James's house was literally, there were like fucking eight trees by his door. Like, he literally had to walk off the left side of his porch to get out of his fucking house in the morning until we could fucking tear down all those fucking trees. I was like, I just didn't want James to play. They're like, fuck this guy. I was like, yeah, Jesus he Christ, has to stay dude. in his house. Sucks to oh, suck. Oh my God. It was fucking nutty. I was fucking surprised. But yeah, no, I'm pretty pumped. It's going to be the first time ever having four people in one world. So I'm pretty pumped for tonight's stream. It's going to be awesome. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a really, really good game. I'm just trying to think of like the last time. I know whenever I first got into Stardew, I played it by myself. And it was a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I made it like three years. But it was nowhere near as fun. It's like what I'm doing now. Like we had to literally reset a world. I already had the Lava Katana. Like that's 25k to buy that sword 25,000 
and we reset it within a second. Like, not even a fucking blink of that. It's like, oh, James wants to play? Oh, he can't play? All right, sweet. Boom. Delete. New world. Like, that's just how much fun it is to just play with people. It's just yeah. so much more fun. So, yeah. And now I have yeah, to I played a bunch of it by myself and really enjoyed it, but I didn't really know what I was doing because it's a Wikipedia game. And oh, you for can only, sure. Like, you can only go so far in Wikipedia games, in my opinion, by yourself before, like, it gets boring or just not worth the effort to continue mm -hmm. and man the moment i jump in there with friends we're able to just like have a conversation everybody's able to do their own thing yeah. but like you can interact and just it's it's a really really good group game it's yeah it's excellent oh yeah Love for it. sure for sure yeah it's a lot of fun yeah we're we're, we're actually in the hardcore heavy interrogation or investigation i guess i should say someone sold a silver ingot last night when we got off. I was like, Ooh. who the fuck is selling ingots? Because, bitch, we need those. Like, we all have one upgrade so far. I've got a copper pickaxe, James has a copper pickaxe, and Mike has a copper watering can. Like, we need silver. Why the fuck was that in the fucking box? And nobody's fessing up to it. I'm all like, uh, we can't be having that. Nope, nope. Like, we're, we're struggling just to get fucking coal right now. We can't be having that. Mm -mm. Somebody just fucked up. Like, they just made a mistake. Like, I'm oh, sure that was sure. not a conscious decision. For sure. But it sounds like you're going to, you know, rake them over the coals anyway. Oh, so. absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the point in doing it. Yeah. That's the content right there. That's the point. Right? <laughs> but something that I like that we've been doing, which is pretty awesome, and I, I kind of want to point this out there just for anybody else who does stream and stuff like that. Um, Mike and I, since we stream together, and James streams too, but he wasn't streaming the other night, um, what we started to do is that at the end of the night, we'll actually go click on the Twitch homepage and go to the game that we're playing, and then we'll look for like someone that has a webcam and has the lowest amount of views that – are playing and then we automatically raid them with all of our viewers before we get off of the night just to help make that person's fucking night like just done so then we just pick one person we both agree on it then we raid and then we fucking you know tell everybody in the chat like follow this person because it doesn't cost anything to follow it's like fucking just just follow a person and so then they'll get raided by like 20 something viewers and they'll instantly go from having one person watching them, which is probably themselves, because God knows we've all been there. <laughs> so having one person watch them, and to all of a sudden out of nowhere, like 20 to 30 viewers, and then they get like fucking 10 follows out of it, possibly even a subscription. Like it fucking Aww, makes their fucking that's day. That's wonderful. So. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Like, so I just wanted to bring that up. Not trying to like, I know it sounds super braggy, not trying to brag or anything, but just like for people who are streaming, man, like fucking, you don't know whose day you're going to make. Like you're getting off anyway. What's the point in not doing it? It's very easy to do. You just go to your dashboard and hit rate a channel, type in the name, boom, done. It's very easy. doesn't cost you anything. And you might make somebody else's night. So that's something cool that Mike's so the, the number one loyalty guy I was talking about. He would actually go look for a person every night when Mike would go to get off and then do the raid for Mike. And now that we're all streaming together, we're all doing it together. So either we have him go find somebody or like last night he wasn't on, so we went and found somebody. <clears throat> and it was this chick that had like two two viewers and she was sitting there playing stardew valley so we're like boom here you go and then she went from two viewers up to like fucking 32 <clears throat> Aww. So. see that's like there are really weird moments in life where like the opportunity to be like a robin hood is just like built in mm -hmm. and this isn't even stealing from the rich this is literally just like giving to other yeah. people because you can you have the ability to do so mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. taking the extra 10 minutes to do that doesn't hurt you in any way and is really really just a beautiful thing so i know there's a lot of like i'm losing faith in humanity going on around the world and like i get that but you can do so many things to build up your own faith in humanity and just be oh, a bigger sure. and better person. And this is one of the great examples of somebody doing that. Yeah. And I know that wasn't what you were going for. No. You weren't being like, look, it's me. I'm Robin Hood. Aren't I fabulous? But like, this is fantastic. Go and do these wonderful things and help other people because you can. That is one of the reasons why we pick a webcam person because it's just so nice to see their fucking facial reaction whenever all of a sudden they go from zero to like 30 viewers in a split second and just like freaking the fuck out like, oh my god, thank you guys so much. This is so crazy. I never thought this would happen. Da, 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 da. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's pretty wonderful. Cool Good. And plus it just shows that like they're 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 interested in growing their channel you know they're they're buying the equipment they need in order to do it versus just turning the shit on and going for it which some people they can't so you know that's all fine and dandy but yeah i think the night before they picked a very english couple 
that your plans started valley together and they were both on his stream with the webcams kind of like how i do our podcast but they were up at the top of the screen mm-hmm. and it was it was it was fucking nuts they were both just going crazy <laughs> they're like there's so many people in here because I was the first one to raid, and it was taking Michael a lot while to get his raid to actually work. And so mm-hmm. I'd only had like six viewers at the time, and I think Michael only had like twelve. But uh, I came in with the six viewers, and then we all started following. They're like, "Oh my god, this is crazy!" And I was like, "Well, hold on, there's some more love coming." And they're all like, "What is that supposed to mean?" And then all of a sudden, it's all like Concordell has raided the channel, and it's like, "Oh my god, there's so many people in here." So, oh, yeah. that's so beautiful. Yeah, so like if you get a chance to do that, man, like it's. it's, it's it doesn't cost anything. It's it's free and you make somebody's day. It's fucking awesome, man. And you never know. Like, that shit comes back around. There could be a big-time streamer. I mean, I've seen videos of big-time streamers. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say any names because I don't know for a fact. But I know I saw a video where this one guy, he plays a specific game. And he literally looked for the lowest person on the fucking thing. And they had one viewer. And it was like 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. And he raided this dude's channel. And the dude had 3,800 viewers. That is a lot. Wow. And like out of the 3,000, like almost 2,000 followed slash subscribed to him. Oh my gosh. This kid went and woke up his mom at 3 o'clock in the morning to show her. And he's all like, right now there's 3,000 people looking at you right now. Like (laughs) he was losing his mind. Like you just don't okay, know. Mom probably didn't love that, but <laughs> no, no. And there's something that Mike says a lot, and and you know, I I really kind of believe in this too, and 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 it kind of plays on what I was just saying, which is, once again, the follows are free, and Mike always likes to say, you don't know what it's going to do, but at the end of the day, it at least helps with the mental to know that you're putting all this time into something just to get a follow. You have no idea how much it means to that streamer, no it's, idea how much yeah. it means to that streamer, and it literally costs you nothing. Mm-hmm. nothing at all so you know like i said pop a fucking follow man who cares if you got a long ass list of followers that's just a whole bunch of friends that you're fucking making that, that's all that is people that you could possibly stream with like the chick we play we uh follow or rated last night she's like oh wow that's so great she's like what were you guys playing we're like oh we were all playing starter together and she's like oh that's so great that gamers are trying to keep it in the same community and stuff like that maybe one night we can all get together and do like a collab project or something i was like that'd be fucking cool why not there you go made a friend you know? exactly boom done so, yeah, like I said, just something I wanted to add at the end, because like I said, that's especially in times like these with the you know, whole COVID-19 situation and shit. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are trying out Twitch for the first time and they're, they're doing it to get outreach. They're mm-hmm. doing it so that way they can have communications with people. And I, and I see that shit a lot where it's like I've never streamed before. I've seen it on Reddit all the fucking time now. I've never streamed before, but I have nothing else to do. And it's hard to do stuff with people. A lot of my friends don't game. So I'm trying this to see if I can have people to talk to. You don't know whose day you're going to make. You don't know what they're going through. You could literally make someone's entire fucking day turn around just by jumping in and just saying, hey, easily. So those are my words. Don't mean to get all sappy here at the end of the fucking podcast, but you know. No, we're hitting you with positivity. (laughs) Be happy. Feel it. Feel it in your bones. (laughs) Oh, shit. But yeah, I just I, I I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the, the the streaming community. I'm enjoying my my experience of how a lot of small streamers like to take care of each other and like to do stuff and actually help point you in the direction to do that stuff yourself. Because I can 100% tell you until last these last three nights playing Stardew, I have never done that before. I've never raided anybody as I was getting off. Never once did it ever cross my mind. And they're like, yeah, you don't know whose day you're going to make. And I was like, that is a very fucking good point. Like, that is a very good point. And I'm going to do it literally every time I get off now. Literally every single fucking time. Because it literally takes me two extra minutes. That's it. <clears throat> two extra minutes. For a lot of good. For a lot of good. Like- exactly. <clears throat> I mean, I've seen people get hyped off of me because I'm nowhere near on Mike and them's level at the moment. Like, my, con- my, my, my like, steady viewers is anywhere between, like, two to five normally. On a good night, I'll have, like, ten, but it won't stay forever. And, that, uh, once again, I'm new. But, like, I've seen people literally lose their fucking mind with me just raiding with just two people before Mike and them get in there. Be like, oh my god, no one ever watches me. It's only ever just me. And it's all like, I can't believe I have three people watching me. And all of a sudden I'm like, well, they're going to fucking lose their mind on these other streamers right this fucking channel in a second. And they go to like fucking 40. So, like I said, you just never know. Never know. But yeah, go ahead and end it on that note. Yeah. If you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, turn on yeah. notifications. 
both of those things are free and make a huge difference to the they two of do. us. Just yes. Saying. I was not trying to lead to that at all, but Kelsey is right. <laughs> free <laughs> and they do help out with the mental, as Mike would say. So mm-hmm. anyways, but uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. That way you can get notified next time we upload another video. Hit us in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts on streaming or if you have any ideas or hell, if you have something that you think would also be something that can also help out a streamer and you want to throw it down there. Uh, you know, people are, I, there's no, there's no right way to stream. There just isn't. But there are tons of different ways that might work for certain people, just like how we had our whole exercise conversation. There's no correct method. But Mm -hmm. the use of information is heavily undervalued, in my opinion, as far as whenever it comes to digital media. So anything you want to put out there that could possibly go a long way that you don't think it will, it damn well possibly could. So just throw it in the comments, man. And yeah. We have our Twitters and our Twitches down there. And have a great rest of your week, guys.